Hello, this is Holly's Bakery One, and I'm doing a review of my Samsung oven. It's like I told you guys I would. This is my induction ra uh, range, and it has convection oven. Um, it's the FTQ307NWGX model. Um, it's the one with the staggered cooktop. It has the staggered burners. I hope you can see that. Um, what it does, you cannot use a small pan on the big burner. Um, okay, so let me get a little light on that subject. Sorry about that. Um, so I'm baking in it right now. I'm baking some cake and the burner situation is a little different, and a lot of people are complaining about that. And a lot of people are complaining about that noise. If you can hear the fan, I'll be quiet so you can hear. The rattling in the background is actually my refrigerator ice maker. The fan is very quiet. It doesn't bother me at all. I don't know where people get that it's so loud. Um, I mean, if you want a comparison, we can put something. They're saying that it's louder than a microwave. This is my Samsung microwave. And that little fan on the oven is nowhere near as loud as the microwave. And this microwave is actually pretty quiet. And I will review this microwave as well. It's really a pretty cool microwave. Um, but we're doing the stove right now. So anyway, as far as the stove goes, um, you have your induction. And they have the max boost. And... You cannot cook unless you have a 10 inch circumference around the bottom of your pan and that is the inside dimensions of the bottom, the actual flat part. So you need at least a 12 inch pan to fit on that big burner and make it work. Um, as you can see I have some ice cubes in the water to show you that it's cold. I have, I'm going to put a paper towel down over my induction um, stove. Uh, cooktop. I'm going to, and the H's mean that it was hot. I had something hot here a few minutes ago. So I'm going to select the front burner and I'm going to go up to max heat to high. And you'll hear the fan come back on again. The fan always runs when the burners are on. It's 428 and we will see how long it takes for that to heat up. So there's some water in the pan, there's some ice, and while we're waiting for that, we know it was 428 and it had just turned, um, the oven is pretty huge. Um, I think it's 5.9 cubic feet, something like that, 5.8, but it has three, it has three oven racks, which is great if you're making cookies or baking cakes or whatever. Um, it bakes pretty evenly. As you can see, it's not 100% even like I thought it would be. Um, I was hoping that with the convection and the fans, that like with cookies and stuff, I wouldn't have to flip the trays, but I still do. Um, right now I'm using only bake, so it's not blowing inside of the oven as far as the even heat because that will blow your cakes flat or make them crusty on top. It, you can use it with cake, but um, you would use regular bake if you're just using like, um, if you're making puff pastry or something like that and you don't want it all blown around in the oven. But I noticed the fans are not very forceful in this thing, so I hope mine are working right. Um, I've had some not so great luck with appliances lately, but it has convection bake, convection roast, bake, broil, keep warm proof that's for proofing dough um, a warming drawer and custom cook then it has a steam clean option self clean 
an oven light and it has a lock on it. it Hold three seconds to lock. So um, kids, I guess, can't get the controls. There's also a lock here so that the kids can't turn on the oven. So anyway, it's already it's 4:30 and we're boiling. So it's been two minutes and it had ice cubes in it and we are at a boil and I'm cooking right through a paper towel that will not burn. My hand can touch right next to the pot. If I touch the pot, I'll burn my hand. Um, but the only thing that heats up is the pot itself. So if I had half a pot, only half the pot would heat up. So this is nice because when something boils over or it splatters, it doesn't cook to the element that's hot. So my other stove, I had a coil stove and it was so hard to clean because everything like would splatter and then it would cook to the uh, ring around the outside of the, the stove. And because the cooktop got so hot, it would bake on there and I was scrubbing for like ever trying to get it clean. This thing is very easy clean up as far as the top of it goes. It does streak a lot because it's black, but, um, and you'll see lint and stuff on it, but that goes with anything. Then I'm going to shut it off, and you see you have instantaneous results, just like as you would with gas, maybe faster. So there you go, instantaneous results. And it has shut off, and my burners say hot because it's telling me that I had, that the burners are hot still. Um, and if I take the paper towel and that off, I put that on the back burner, you'll see that back burner light will come on hot. I can touch this. It is hot to the touch, but it's not going to, like, if I would have touched my uh, electric oven coil before, I would have been fried. Or if I, or one of those other smooth surface ones that turns red. My skin would have probably peeled off already. This, I can, you know, I can't keep my hand there, but I can barely tap it. So I could see a little kid putting their hand up there, and they would be able to move it away before they got toasted. Um, so I think that's really, really, really good. Um, and that's a cool safety feature. The, you do have to lock these though because they do, like, they're very sensitive to touch. So if I turn it on, see how sensitive they are to touch? So, you have to hold and lock the three seconds so that the kids can't get to your, um, get to the things but they even if they turned it on if there's no pot on it would sense that there is no pot on the stove and it would not and it wouldn't it wouldn't even turn on it wouldn't get hot because there's no pot so the kids could turn it on and nothing's going to happen i like that now the oven's a different story the oven will come on because that's an entirely different method of cooking but um the things i don't like about it when you're cleaning it it is very sensitive to touch. Um, so everything blinks and beeps and goes on and off. The kitchen timer is annoying, to say the least. So I'll turn that and I'll let you hear. And the oven racks are pretty good. I don't like the warming drawer that it sticks out slightly. There's like an edge. All the crumbs and stuff fall into the uh, into it. So um, I haven't used the warming drawer yet for like anything. I probably will maybe for a holiday meal or something like that. I really can't even think of a reason why I would need it. But um, I'm using it for storage for my cookie sheets and stuff right now. Just like my old stove. Um, I have a big streak that goes down the front of the stove. I've heard other people complain about this. These holes on the front of the stove are very big um, and they're wide and they just drop straight off down into the glass. So if you're cleaning the front of the stove, just make sure your rag is not wet because, or don't spray it with spray because it will spray down in there and go. And there is your timer, but it will go off for I believe a whole minute and it will not shut up until you turn it off. And then it will go off like once every minute, which is not so annoying, but, and it will just give you one beep. But it won't let you forget that you have stuff in the oven, so I'm getting used to it. it at first I was like really bothered by 
oh my god, shut it up, you know, especially at night if I'm cooking and um, maybe, you know, if they're in there watching TV and I can't get to the timer to shut it off quickly enough. So, anyway, that's my induction cooktop. I wanted to show it to you. I really like it. There's a few design flaws. Um, I think that's why they changed the model over. I got this one for a pretty good deal because um, the store was getting rid of these to get the new models in, I believe. So, um, hopefully they change some of the, the design, like that ledge right there where all the stuff falls in and these big open gaping things right here they should have a little lip or something on it so that stuff can't fall straight down into the door um, and it the keypad shouldn't be quite as sensitive to touch but I guess it's kinda like a, um, a phone pad so anyway, if I didn't answer all your questions, I hope I can help you out um, if you ask me some questions on there. And I will be still using more of this oven, and I'm still learning about it. But I wanted to show you that induction, the induction, see it's already cool, not cool, but it's not burning me, um, that the induction is really nice, and it's so much safer, so much easier to clean, um, you know, the technology has been over in Europe for a long time. We're just now learning about it. I didn't even know about it until I saw this thing in the store, and I was like, wow. You do have to have cookware that a magnet will stick to in order for it to work. So that's something to consider. But this is just your basic enamelware cookware, and it works just fine, and it's actually very reasonably priced. You go to Ross or Marshalls or something like that to get it. Um, and it works great. Um, I also purchased a ceramic pan online that has, it's all aluminum, but it has an induction bottom. So it has a, a heavy metal bottom, but you're still cooking and you're getting the heat of the aluminum. So you get the even heat in the pan, which is very nice. Um, so that is my review. So hopefully if you get one of these things, you'll really like it. I really like it. Um, I'm, you know, pretty glad I got it. I think the design could have been a little bit better. They should have thought through a little bit better, but overall I would give it, you know, an 8 out of 10. Um, like I said, I also think the convection oven could be a little bit better as far as baking. Um, it bakes pretty good on regular bake. And these are the cupcakes that I baked. So, but cookies and stuff like that, when you bake them on convection bake, you still have to spin them. And I thought the whole reason for having convection would be so that you didn't have to spin them. Thanks anyway for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye, guys.